So if that's your thing, you're disgusting. Why did I eat another one? <laughs> Yo, what up, Park Hoppers? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are back at the Disneyland Resort. Always. And we're gonna pop in for some fun today. Uh, <laughs> You're so corny. Uh, oh, corny. <laughs> all right, you guys, today uh, we're going to show you guys all of the different kind of popcorn you can yeah. get here. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't know there actually are different types. And my favorite, of course. And Crystal's favorite. So we're gonna pop all around the park and see what we can run into, all right? All right, let's go. Let's go. So got her popcorn spirit jersey. She is ready for today. I came ready. Came ready. <laughs> that is a cool spirit jersey though. Yeah, I don't think I've worn this one in the park yet. So I don't think so either. I'm excited. Let's see how dirty it gets. Let's hope not. <laughs> so today we are going to get all the popcorn from the vendors. But if you do want to take some home, they do have these nifty little guys inside any of the candy shops. They have so many flavors from kettle corn, caramel, sea salt, Mexican, what was the Mexican what? Cocoa. Cocoa. Confetti, the most important flavor. Of course, so these are always fun. And I like that they're resealable now. Oh, they so, are yeah. resealable. Yeah. These are perfect to take home. Or, Definitely. Great, or like, like snack and throw in your bag. Right, so like say if like, you came without your parents one day and you want to take them something, I highly suggest picking up a bag of popcorn because Disney popcorn is always good. All right, so our first stop on our popcorn journey today is going to be here at Cozy Cone. Number five to be exact, so let's go see what we got. All right, guys, so we did make a little pit stop into Cozy Cone number five over here in Cars Land. And here they have three different flavors. They have your regular popcorn, they have cheddar popcorn, and pickled popcorn. You guys know I love pickles, so I had to get the pickles because we all know Nick's not going to touch this one. So I've honestly never had the pickled popcorn. I was going to say, I thought you had. No, No, huh? I haven't. Wow. It smells like pickles. Like, it's crazy. So the pickle flavoring is very subtle. Like it's more of like a soury aftertaste. But I think as you keep eating, it'll build up. It's kind of weird. Like I was expecting a straight popcorn or a pickle flavor, but it's like butter pickles. So they pop it normally. Uh -huh. We got super fresh popcorn. Okay. They pop it like normal, which is buttered. Mm -hmm. And then they put it, they, they scoop it and they pour it in another container and they shake it in the flavors. No. Oh. So it is a buttered popcorn no matter what, I believe. Okay. I mean, I like it. It's a good like one-time deal, like you have to try it. You wouldn't get it again though? I probably wouldn't. Not Unless a strong somebody, enough pickle? Yeah, if somebody else got it and would, like offered me some, then I'd take some, but I probably wouldn't put it in order again for myself. But it's still pretty good. All right, you guys, I don't think I've ever had the flavored popcorn from here either. I don't know why I think when we think of popcorn, we just normally stop at the carts. It's easier than coming like all the way back here. I think whenever we come here, we get ice cream. We do, we usually do. One thing that's really nice about picking up uh, popcorn from Cozy Cone is you can mobile order this. So there's no real line, uh, but let's give this a try. So like I was telling Crystal, they pop it in a normal popcorn machine and then they pour it in and they shake them in separate containers. They have a like a pickle flavor one and I, I made sure I didn't want white cheddar pickle flavor. Um, but <laughs> yeah, they, they keep them separate. So let's try this. This is pretty good, honestly. So I didn't know it was white cheddar. I thought it was just regular cheddar. No, I think it's white cheddar. Yeah, I think it is. It's really good. When we go to the movies, we always take our little flavor shakers. It's just like that. It is really good. I like this. I think, you know, if you like popcorn, adding the white cheddar on it's just a plus. And you can't do this at any other like normal popcorn stand. So this is really good. I would recommend it. I would do this again. I know it's hard to tell. This is, it's pretty terrible. This is the pickle flavored popcorn. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I hate pickle. Um, it smells terrible. <laughs> I'll take, it can't be any worse than the corn elote, for the frozen elote, so. That was a mistake. I should have tried one. <laughs> Even I didn't throw a handful in my mm. mouth. Mm -mm. <laughs> This is hilarious. Mm -mm. What happened? No, I'm not. I got a kernel. That's what I was just getting out. Oh, but. okay. So Crystal said the pickle flavor was subtle. It is absolutely not subtle to somebody who doesn't like pickle flavor. It is mm. terrible. Would never eat this again. But it tastes just like the pickles on a McDonald's cheeseburger. It tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger, to be honest, with the pickle. 
So if that's your thing, you're disgusting. Why did I eat another <laughs> one? I found a new spot. Can we sit down? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give the white cheddar a try. And be like Nick and grab a quite a view. I honestly like our topping better yeah. than what they use here. Yeah, I don't know what they use. It's very like it's very powdery. Like yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. You I you definitely kind of can't in the camera, I don't think. Okay. But it but, is very powdery. Yeah, like the popcorn looks fuzzy. Mm. I don't know if that's easier. <laughs> but yeah. Um it feels like you're definitely gonna need a drink if you get your popcorn over here. I mean personally I need a drink with popcorn no matter what. Right. So I don't think it matters to me, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know which one I if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the the dill pickle. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well opposites you guys. If you guys I try know. them, let us know which one you like. Yes, please. Okay guys, so I guess update on the white cheddar, right? So I've been I've been eating some more of it. Not much more, you can see. Not much more. It is really powdery. Crystal's right. I think if you uh, are at the window and they haven't made it yet, maybe ask them for just like light seasoning. Cause man, it is making me super thirsty. So um, it, it is kind of a big deal. So it's still delicious. I really like it, but I would maybe see if I could get them to do like a light uh, white cheddar topping instead of like a couple scoops. So maybe something to think about. All right. So our next stop is over at Pim's Test Kitchen or Tasting Lab. And um, these are the pin particles or the snack particles. Uh, I believe they're the snack particles. Yeah, I think so, so. they are literally like a popcorn trail mix. There's pretzels. There's like three different types of popcorn. The one thing that I love are like these. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I can't even get them. They're so tiny. These little tiny popcorns like that they've shrunk it down. But the only thing that's bothering me is this little bag filled to here is $7.50 Ooh. and you can get one of these like the scoop popcorns for $5.99 yeah that's a pretty big difference in size yeah and it's not like it comes with anything that's super expensive in there no like okay so let's see what's inside of it so you have like a caramel popcorn you have <gasps> popcorn all over the table who did this who did this I'm a horrible person at least it's on the table yes all right. Um, all right, so there's like honeycomb cereal, all the different popcorn, cookies, pretzels. I think that's all it is, really. It's just those, like, yeah, that's it. So, all right, real quick, it, just because it's getting windy, we're gonna clean this up real quick. Okay, I'll clean. All right, so let's go ahead and give these a try. It looks like it's caramel corn, it is, but it's like. Like a bag of store bought. I mean, that's the thing. None of this is gonna be fresh. Right. You know. And like, it honestly tastes kind of stale. I think it's probably just the pretzels, though. You know, I like. I guess a good little snack mix. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm horrible. Get your life together. I'm trying. I'm trying. I want the little popcorns. Got them. So I don't think these are like seasoned at all. Yeah, they're just plain. No flavor whatsoever. Mm. So, I mean, it's a good little stand in line snack just because you could easily like close it. But I would say this is a pass. Yeah, especially for that price. Yeah. You could get the caramel corn and the other stuff in the store in a big bag for that same price. Right. So, exactly. It's a pass. It's a pass. Uh, I do want to say they change these for the holidays sometimes, though. They do. So they do like a holiday mix and stuff. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's just the regular one. This is just the regular, yeah. But, okay, so it's a pass. It's a pass. It's the best popcorn ever! Oh, this one's your favorite, this right? This is my absolute favorite. Like, honestly, I will come all the way over to DCA before the fireworks or the parade just to get this popcorn to enjoy over at Disneyland. The, so this right here is right on Buena Vista Street. It is the popcorn cart, a crossroom cart they circle. I think that's what it's called in the map. Right outside of Elias and Come. Um, they have caramel popcorn, guys. And it is so fresh, so sticky, absolutely delicious. All right, guys, I really wish you could feel how warm this thing is. Like, it is served hot. It is amazing. This is my favorite. Like, you cannot go wrong with Buena Vista Street caramel popcorn. I believe it's only $6.50. So even this is better than the Pimsa snack particle 
whatever it was. I love this. Like I said, I will get this every time we're here. It would be good if they threw like peanuts in it. It would be good with peanuts. Mm -hmm. Or like little pieces of Snickers. Mm -hmm. It'd be really good. Right? We also found this peacetime tea uh, in Car, not Carsland, I'm sorry, but it's probably in Carsland too, but in Hollywood land. And uh, it's peach flavored, so I'm excited for this. A few moments later. All right, you guys, we popped over to Disneyland. We're actually, it's a different day now. It's the next day. Um, we're at Disneyland. We're gonna try, we have three kind of like specialty popcorns that aren't normal popcorn to try for you guys. So let's jump into the first one from Troubadour Tavern which is up by Small World. And we have a special guest here with us. What up, what up? You already know. It's the Bugs. Yeah, yeah. It's the Bugs. It's Bugs. It's the Bugs. It's the Bugs. It's the Bugs. This, this is the Verberay uh, popcorn from Troubadour Tavern. Right off the rip. It smells really good. Let's see how it tastes now. Uh, it's an Ethiopian spice, apparently. Oh, uh, okay. Oh man. Is it spicy? It said it had chili powder. Is it spicy or just like savory? I think it's just savory. I get zero spice. Crystal was worried about trying it. I get zero spice. Okay. I think it's more of a flavors thing. Okay. Definitely has like a. Man. This is good. I don't even know how to explain this. I, I was trying to Google what that spice is, and it just said it's a very complex spice. You know what? I kind of get like a um, like a curry seasoning. That makes sense. This is Especially from Ethiopia. No, that's is, kind of like... This is fire. Yeah. This is fire. All right, I got to try it. I would 100% get this every time I was in the park. All right, I got to try this. All right, Jay kind of hyped it up, so I'm going to try it up. Dude, that is so good. I get the chili powder. I get what you're saying about like the curry flavors. Here comes Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. Anna. Her and little Snow White going to do something fun. I don't even know how to describe this. Like, it got kind of like a nutty flavor though. I really like it. Overall, this is a must. All right, Jay told me I had to try this one right here. Look at all this seasoning on that, if you can see it. Look at that. Let's try it. Doom. And like you can see, they're yellow. It's like the normal Disney popcorn, so it's a little buttery. Mm, you know, I get like cinnamony, like a, a turmeric maybe. Maybe like a turmeric. Oh, yeah. uh, it's so, you guys, it's really, really delicious, honestly. This is my favorite so far. This is my favorite. All right, guys. So I traveled to a galaxy far, far away just to get some popcorn. So in Batu, Galaxy's Edge, you get chocolate popcorn. You get the Outpost mix, which is chocolate and caramel. And then they have, I think it's called like cheese, shark, shark. What is it called? Shark cheese pop? Something like that. I have some of it popcorn because it didn't say popcorn in the name at all. Yeah. And like I was like, it's white cheddar popcorn. And I was like, oh, okay. So we got it all. Dang. Let's give it a try Let's now. Let's try them. So you can get the chocolate popcorn at the little carts that sell the soda. Like, what are the little bomb things called? Oh, the little uh, thermal detonators. Yes, the thermal detonators. Uh, they That's where they have the popcorn. I believe there's three different spots. The resistance, then there's the one right by... Uh, like the speeder garage. The speeder garage, and then over by... Uh, Ogas. The, yeah, just past Oga's, between Oga's and the Stormtrooper store. Uh, so yeah, I honestly, the chocolate popcorn smells really good. I love this. Like, it reminds me of something and I can't place it. I like it because it's like salty too. So like salty chocolate popcorn. I'm here for it. The only thing I, I hate that you have to go into Batu to get this. It'd be nice if you could get other places, especially mm -hmm. Batu has like three different kinds. Yeah. But I guess it makes sense. Yeah. I like this. If you're a fan of chocolate popcorn, definitely get it. Can't go wrong. 
All right, you guys. So this one is like a chocolate caramel popcorn, Crystal tells me. Uh, also from Batu. And this one is in the uh, like marketplace shopping center, right? Mm -hmm. Like right past Rano Roasters? Yes. All right, well, let's give it a try. It smells very like amazing. It smells very like uh, holiday popcorn, like Christmas <laughs> or something. <clears throat> I'm choking on popcorn over here. Dang. That's really good. Is it? It's yeah, really good. Like salty. It's like chocolate sea salt caramel. That's what it reminds right. me of. Right. Ours doesn't have a lot of caramel, but it's there. It's good. Yeah. Damn. I got one and it tasted really like coffee flavored. I'm not getting coffee flavored. Yeah, like it was interesting. Yeah, I really. I like this. I know you love the caramel popcorn in um, mm -hmm. in DCA. I like this because it's not sticky. Right. It's powdery. All I was thinking was, I wish it wasn't warm. I wish it was warm. You're right. Leave it in like a backpack in the sun. Right. Is, I can't even stop eating. It's so good. <laughs> All right, guys. So now I am going to try the white cheddar popcorn from Batu. I believe it's called like cheese popped on the menu. It's not on the mobile app. So, or like, there's not a mobile ordering app, but on the app, like, it it's not there. on the list at all. So I was like a little thrown off, but I don't like the white, I, I don't want to say I didn't like the white cheddar over in GCA. Um, it, it was just really powdery. powdery. Yeah, and this one, it's like, like it's popped and then they mix it all inside the popcorn machine, yeah. so. It didn't look as powdery. No, it's really not. So this is a lot better. I think I prefer, if we're gonna get white cheddar, to get it over here. Mm, it's okay. good. And then it's like, our popcorn's really fresh. Like, they made us come back because it wasn't ready. Right. So, but yeah, I'm, out of the ones that we got today, I think this is my least favorite. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I don't know, I just prefer the white cheddar that we season on ours. So, I mean, yeah. I really like this. It tastes very, um, like you buy it in your Christmas tin. Yes. It very much like that, but yes. not in like a bad stale No, no, way. no. That's just what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's not stale at all. But, okay. yeah, you can have this bag. Okay. I like this. Which one are you trying? Is it a chocolate one? Right? Chocolate? That's a I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, it's good. Yeah, that's a chocolate one. I like it. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> what? What happened? It's almost gone. She's killing it, but she the, loves it. It's good. Fire. The only reason that she loves it is because I offered this to Grogu. Oh. I did. I did. Dang. I did. I still haven't seen Mando and Grogu. <laughs> I know. Right, Jay, Jay's, trying out the, Jay's trying out the white cheddar. I said it kind of reminds me of the white cheddar you get in the holiday tins, but not as stale. I hate this. <laughs> I'm with you. This was Crystal's least favorite as well. No, I hate this. Stop eating. Oh no. No. Have you had the white cheddar over at DCA? No. I hate that though. I wonder how you'd like that one. I hate that. That one over there is really powdery. That tastes like garbage. Let's see. Would you like to try the chocolate? Get that nasty taste out of your mouth. No, I'm Lex is like eh about it too. <laughs> when I first when I first like started eating it, I thought I got a hint of like cucumber at first. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't I did not like that. We, you would, we, do, we will not do the white cheddar popcorn at Disneyland. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you know what? I could do it. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's... It, didn't it was offend weird me. at no, first. Hell, I'm offended. Because I was used to that amazing chocolate popcorn. Yeah. But... <laughs> it's all right. It's not that bad. It wouldn't be my first choice. Right. The chocolate popcorn is really good, though. It's giving Cocoa Puffs. It does. It <laughs> yeah. tastes very Cocoa yes. Puffy. Yes. Okay, yes. I like this. Yeah. I like this. See, for the looking, get this. Chocolate and caramel, I get coffee Do not get the white cheddar. 
this is not Disneyland. <laughs> We're back home, not because we forgot to shoot an outro. No, not at all. But because we planned to shoot an outro from home. Right. So we could have popcorn at home. That's what we planned. Crystal made popcorn. Yep. Uh, so, you know, just want to talk about popcorn real quick overall. Which one was your favorite? The caramel still? Oh, of course. Okay. Caramel. I don't and then know. the chocolate. The chocolate Depending which one. Yeah, I'm in. I really liked the one from Troubadour as well. Not me. I enjoyed that a lot. Jay and I both really liked that. So, uh, I would definitely get that one again. Overall, I think there's lots of great popcorn. What you do notice is we didn't try any of... Like the normal popcorn, we've had it a million times. Yeah. It's good. Always. One thing to be aware of with the popcorn carts, though, is that they have, like, the scent kicking oh, out yeah. of it from a machine. Mm-hmm. So just because it smells good doesn't <laughs> mean it's fresh. Okay? Right. Okay? So that's one thing to, like, remember. Definitely. You want to watch it being popped. <laughs> All right? So, and make sure it doesn't smell burnt. But overall, there's lots of great options. So now hopefully you guys can choose... Uh, what you want to try. If you've tried any of them, let us know in the comments. Or if you're excited yeah. to try one of them, let us know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe. Leave a comment, though. We'd love to hear from you. Let <laughs> us know which one you want to try or have tried. Definitely. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Peace.